using a formula to solve quadratic equations. You know it's a formula question because it's a quadratic equation and it says two decimal places. That tells you that you cannot factorize it. So if we know the form of the standard equation, looks like that. Then we can work out that a is 3, b is 4, and c is minus 9. Let's keep the sign with the number c equals minus 9. So the formula which is given at the front of the exam is minus b, so minus 4, plus or minus, that means there's one answer with a plus, one answer with a minus, the square root of b squared, which is 4, squared which is 16, minus 4ac, 4 times 3 times minus 9, so minus 4 times 3 times minus 9, all over 2a. In case you're not familiar with what the equation and the formula at the start of the paper looks like, it looks like this. So I'll just drag this in. That's what's written on the front of your exam. So it's basically what I've written there and just with the, with the uh, letters and stuff. Let's just actually leave that there now. So um, once we have this all set up, we can just type it into our calculator as it looks. So minus 4, and we're going to do the plus 1 first, the square root of. Now, this is a positive number squared, 4 squared, which is OK. If it was negative 4, you need to put a bracket around the 4, the negative, before you square it. Because it's positive, I don't need to do that. Minus 4 times 3 times negative 9. OK, I should have already put all this as a fraction. Can I do that now? No, let's just try that again. So, minus 4 plus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 9 all over 2 times 3, which is 6. Actually, let's put 2 times 3. Let's do it all on the calculator here. So, that gives us that answer there. Uh, we're told to do it two decimal places, so let's go to the SD button. Um, that means that one answer is 1.189254788, so 1.19. The other answer, now we can go, whoops, we can go back into the calculator and just change that plus that was in front of the square root to a minus. And we get the other answer, which is minus 2.522588 and some more. So minus 2.52. Okay, so two answers to two decimal places. Okay, often if you make a mistake in here, um, it'll be to do with this 4 squared here or this subtraction here. If you get an error because you're squaring a negative number, it's something to do with that. You've either not squared the negative to make this positive or you've not got the signs right in here to get this so that it gives you a positive value when you complete it. Part B, um, so Hassam is solving the equation using the formula. He used the formula to get this. Work out the equation that Hassam solved. So this bit is our minus b. So if we're doing something x squared uh, minus b, minus b equals 3, so b equals negative 3. That's so going to be negative 3x. And then we've got a number equals 0. Um, 2a is on the bottom. So a is going to be 2a is 10, so a is going to be 5. And that just leaves us with this, what could this be? This is going to be minus uh, b squared minus 4ac. b squared is going to be 9. I've got to take away 4 lots of ac from that to make 29. So that's 4ac is going to be minus 20, because I need to add 20 to 9 to make 29. I know, um, so AC is going to be minus 5, I know A is 5, so 5 lots of C is minus 5, so C equals minus 1. So the equation is uh, 5x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0.